screen. Do you want the fried rice? Three of this. Assess my oil to a temp. Melt. Morgan, are we out of soy sauce? I didn't think we were. Can you be the first to tell me if I'm just lying? No, I just wanted to see. Usually they have at least like five little hacks to put on. Okay, just to pay a slightly blander fried rice. Apparently I'm out of soy sauce. I feel ashamed of myself. Shame, shame.
going great until the last egg. Or if you want to go downstairs and get D and D Beyond pulled up. Joseph's cooking. Yes, Austin, I'm cooking. Penis, I have a penis. appreciate this part. Look, look, he's got cameras in his kitchen where he changes fucking angles. Oh yeah, it's because he can stream and do stuff real. <laughs> except apparently when he's at, uh, except when he's at Austin's house and then he has no uh, bandwidth <laughs> or a computer that has no ability to run, whatever. I'm sorry, you know, uh, base, internet on my basement isn't the greatest. Oh, I understand that. So you know how we know Joseph's bougie? Motherfucker's using shallots. <laughs> bougie fuck. I mean, we all know Joseph loves food. I mean, just look at his figure. It's not like it, you know, he has his nice curves. It, it, he has one big curve. Hey, Joseph, do you watch uh, Chef Brian Sal? No. He, uh... He and a friend of his are chefs that, you know, I like watching people that, are, that talk about cooks and so forth. And they have a saying that if you look at a chef's hands and you see fat fingers, you know they're a great chef. <laughs> and I got hot dogs. Those. those are the hands of a, that's a chef. When it looks like that bear paw can just hold that shout, you can't see where the fingernails end and the nubs begin. Yeah. Oh. Yo. Okay, oh, we've got uh, Scar tonight and and Clay. 
Huzzah! Or as some of you may remember, the guy we killed at the end of every session during the Fade Trials would come back as a new personality. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. And, and then, uh... Say Uh... The, the, the Air Genesis butt plug. <laughs> oh, she was, she was a butt plug, but she wasn't an Air Genesis. It was, they had a really cool thing where they were across the hall from each other and they had a number of, of how many people they had sex with. And uh, it was really, Joseph was always rotating. Oh, dude! Look, Austin's a real streamer. He's got a headset on and everything. Oh, he's got a surfboard. He's real. Yeah. Yeah, I've been surfing since I was probably six, so. And you were going to uh, and I'm going to the Yeah. 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 It was packaged in America. Swing it on this. Now, if you want to fall and you want to feel stupid and old, you can go to a CSI where a guy uh, died of lead poisoning. They were trying to figure out who tried to kill him, and the fact of the matter was, the candy brand that he was been eating it actually had high lead content. He'd been eating it for so long that he finally just killed himself through poisoning. Thank you, CSI. All right, guys, so here's the question I have as we, we continue on in the world. First off, thank you for joining my new channel as essentially D&D &D is not run by the dead anymore. We have the space and all that, but essentially my goal is to make sure that it's free when we go there so we pay for food. The downside to that is actually it doesn't impact this table because uh, the store is closed. So... Not a big issue, but a lot of other people, uh, for example, Tuesday Table uh, was complaining about, it's loud, these card players just, they're so loud. Well, it's a free space, and those card players pay, and uh, there's no money. I love D&D, &D. it's fun in its own right, there's no money in D&D, &D. Um, except maybe the streaming platform, or at some point Patreon to help pay for stupid shit. Um, so with that said, that's where why I sent out this invite. The next thing is, what the fuck do we want?